In this video I'm going to show you how to customize your terminal and make it look awesome. In this tutorial I will use Terminator because that is my favorite terminal, but this procedure works on all other terminal emulators as well, on Linux and Mac. And if you'd like to see um, why I like Terminator so much, check my other videos, I link them in the description. Okay, let's start. So, as you can see right now, my terminal is uh, completely unstyled. Uh, so the first thing that we want to do to make this terminal look awesome is uh, to install the ZSH shell. By default, uh, you are using bash shell. Uh, so we need to install new shell that is called ZSH. So how do we do that? Very simple, uh, sudo apt install ZSH. Type in your password and that's it. So next thing that we want to do is to install either curl or wget. We need curl or wget uh, for the installation. So let's install curl, sudo apt install curl. As you can see, it's already installed in my system, but maybe on your system it will not be installed by the default. Okay, now we need to fetch all my ZSH. I will put the link to this uh, repo in the description. Uh, this repo contains uh, all my ZSH and the link to the plugins and themes. So as you can see, we can install it with uh, either like this using curl or like this using wget. So let's install it using curl. So just copy this line, open your terminal, paste it with the middle mouse button or shift insert, press enter and uh, it will start cloning the repo and it will install it basically. As the end, as you can see, we are already and not we installed it and we switched to the ZSH shell automatically. So as you can see here, my prompt is now different than it was before. Okay, now that we have a ZSH installed and ready, we need to do two things. We need to install the team and we need to install, we need to set up the colors, color team. So uh, let's first install the ZSH team. So if we go back to the, this repo, you will see that if we scroll a little bit down here, uh, we can see the section called teams and uh, here you can see how to set up certain teams. My One of my favorite teams is called Agnostor and it requires this power line points and you have the link for them here. So uh, to install this team, uh, let's uh, first install this font. So I will open this font in a new tab. It's also a repo. We need to clone uh, clone this repo. And uh, when this, uh, it will have a bunch of fonts. When we download this, we need to install them. Uh, they install very simply. I will show you how. So if we open it here, we basically need to extract uh, the fonts here. We go into this folder and there is basically a script here that will install them. So you right click, you open your terminal here and basically you just type install.sh and this will install the fonts on your system. Okay, so now that we have fonts, we don't need this window anymore. We can close it with Ctrl D. Uh, we don't need this anymore. So now we need to set up the team itself. So uh, let's open the terminal. Uh, let's clear the screen, go to the root. And uh, in the root, when you install uh, all my ZSH, uh, sorry, when you install ZSH shell, you will have .zshrc configuration file that basically contains the configuration for that shell. So we will open it. I will use vim, so vim.zs shrc and uh, if you scroll a little bit down here where, where it says zsh team you will see it says robbie russell that's the default team that uh, zsh comes with so let's change this into agnoster that is my favorite team and you can of course set up any other team that you that you like uh, let's save this so escape wq uh, sorry escape colon wq to save and quit 
so our team is now set. If we now turn off this terminal with Ctrl D and then turn it on again, you will see that the prompt is slightly different, but there are some weird characters here. That's because we are not using our installed font yet. So to apply the font, right click, go to preferences, go to profiles, uh, yeah, profiles, and untick this uh, checkbox here and open this and search for Powerline. It will list all the fonts that, that are Powerline enabled. My favorite font here is called Roboto. So I will set that one up. You are free to choose the one you like. And I like to increase the font size uh, to 11. Okay, close. And now as you can see, our team is finally looking very nice. So for example, if I now go to some uh, projects folder and let's say go to home website, which is a project, uh, you can see that I, uh, since this project has a Git repo initialized in it, you can see that we are on the master branch. It shows the branch. This color will change when the branch is dirty. So when you have some changes that you uh, didn't commit and so you will see it's, it is very awesome. Okay, so we set up the team. So the last thing that we need to do is set up the colors. So to set, the, the, set up the colors, uh, you can basically do that uh, manually. You can go into preferences and then go to profiles and then go to colors. And then you can, uh, you have by default provided uh, uh, some teams here. So you can choose amongst those or uh, you can download already made uh, teams, color teams uh, for various terminals. So to do that, uh, you can go to this repo. I will put the link to it uh, in the description below. Download it. I already downloaded it here. And here you will basically get a pack of uh, color schemes for different terminals. So let's extract it here. If you go inside, as you can see, there, is, there are color schemes for various terminals and apps. So I will use th this one for Terminator. So how we do now, uh, if we go to this site and scroll a little bit down, uh, there is a list of all the teams uh, that are included in this zip. And uh, so you can see how they look like and you can choose the one. I already kind of know what I like, so I like this monokai teams so there are several several of them so let's just i don't know let's pick one of them let's let's say this monokai vivid so if you open this file in some editor you will see that um, it basically just contains information about the background the cursor color foreground color and stuff like that so where do we put this information okay so uh in your root folder, go to .config slash terminator. That's for the terminator, of course, if you're using it. And in there, uh, you have the .config file. So you will just open this config file and basically you will just copy and paste this information from this file. We'll just copy, we'll come here and then you will paste it here. Let me just make this indented here. Okay, now let's check if there are no duplicates. Yes, there are. For example, we have new cursor, cursor color here, so we can delete this one. The font is fine. Yeah, everything else is fine. So once you set this up, you will have to save it. So escape colon WQ to get out and to apply these colors you need to restart the terminal so control D to get out of it control uh, command T to get in it control T sorry uh, to get in it again so as you can see I have different more vivid colors now uh, applied so let me go again to project slash as you can see the colors are now different 
Okay guys, that's it for this tutorial. If you'd like to see more tips and tutorials like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.